possible it started with a dream hello ladies and gents this is fabulous i am honored to be actually at the front of the queue because of the uk obviously it will be late in the evening for the end of our presentations but hello and welcome to the global inspiration stamp team we are all super excited to be able to bring you our presentations today and let me just get my comments up there make sure yeah i'm switched on there I just want to touch base and say, um, for those of you who know a few of us, um, we have set up an album. There is a photo album um, on the group. Okay, flick you down onto the table. Uh, my card is going to be using the Snow Crystal stamp. Now, this is a background stamp. It is huge. Um, and I will be using that with some techniques for you today. Uh, I'm going to start off. I'll show you my card at the start. So this is my actual card. So we're going to be smooching and making that nice and smoky in the background there. We're gonna be using two different embossing powders um, and we've got some lovely splatters on there. So I'll be doing a few things there with you. So I'm gonna pop that, I'm gonna leave it there, but that might get knocked and out of camera view. So I'm starting with the shimmery white card. Now this is gonna be very hard for you to see on the camera. Um, so there is little sparkles in there. It is really hard. So I'm gonna take this round. I'm gonna score this once through the middle. This is a tent card. So I have my little dots on here. We are in metric. You will find everybody today will be um, presenting in the measurements that they are comfortable with. So um, you might get some of the double measurements, you might not, um, but we are trying to make this a little bit more simple um, and less, um, hassle really for everybody but most people will translate if they want to um, here we have a scored line through there that made me what I've just done actually cut me two cards so I can fold that second one and make a pair of those so I'm just going to burnish that edge with my bone folder because I do like it to stay flat and I can see all those gorgeous little sprinkles in there but I don't think you'll catch them oh yes you might just be able to catch that on the camera if I move that around I did just just glance through there. So this is my base. My, um, I'm gonna put that to one side for now because I'm gonna jump to my craft layer. Now the craft layer on here, I started out thinking I was gonna try to see what would I could do with the note cards. Now, did you know Stampin' Up actually have craft note cards and craft envelopes? So I was gonna play with this. And then I cut my piece of craft card, this one here, we have craft card, craft six by six paper pack. So I cut my craft size to be the same size as that. So let's start by doing that. I then decided I was gonna do it as a full size card. So these note cards are five inches. Okay, we're gonna need that strip for later. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in my little tray beside me by three and a half inches. Okay, and then that can just go away for another project. So we have, ooh, I've lost it, this one here. So we have this is just quarter of an inch or half a centimetre bigger. So you can make these panels as big or as small as you want. So we're going to be working with these two. I'm going to put that with my card. Okay, and we're going to work on this one first. Now comes in my Stamparatus. Okay, so my Stamparatus here, I have pre-mounted my stamp on there. Um, and I'm going to, I meant to just have this lined up so I could just plop it in, but it's good for you to see how I worked on this. Um, because it's already on there, I'm just gonna anchor that down in two corners. We want the tip and the top and the bottom here, the tips to be in the middle at the top and bottom. I like to eyeball it, but if you really want to, you could measure the middle and put a little pencil dot, measure the top and a pencil dot. But I think that's a good mix. And there's part of this is just off either side. They're pretty even Stevens, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so if I just slide this across, I'm trying to keep that one in view as well. We're not gonna be able to manage it all the time. So I have my Versamark. Um, so I'm gonna ink my stamp up with Versamark. In putting the Versamark on here, my plate is sloping away from me. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath there. That keeps my plate on an even keel, so it's nice and flat. Okay, so I'm gonna tap all over here. Now this is where the camera might jiggle. I'm gonna try and go gently. Okay, so tap that on there quite gently. And I'm just gonna rest that back in the lid. So I'm gonna ink this more than once. 
<laughs> and this is my air hockey puck. For those of you who've seen me before know, but anyone new to joining me today, um, this is I just this is the child size ones, and I bought them off Amazon. Um, but one of my team, Jackie, who's um, on later, she has used a Yankee candle lid. And I've also realized that you could actually use a wooden doorknob. Just go to your DIY stand uh, shop and buy a wooden, a wooden um, handle and then just put some felt on the back. So I'm gonna ink this up twice. Because it is a clear ink, it is sticky. Versamark is like a, a gluey ink, okay? I can look at this from the side and I think we're okay there. So I'm gonna take my piece out taking care not to touch the middle of the edges. And I'm quite happy I've got my grid paper there. That can go there and get cleaned later. So we'll take that out of the way and that one. Now we're gonna to go to my embossing powders. So I'm gonna go with my clear first. So this image is gonna be sprinkled with clear, but I need a top tip here just to tell you. Um, Stampin' Up! have several powders, okay? They have um, heat and stick is a separate one. This is one that I've used on another technique. Um, it's good for the gilding flakes. Okay, so I've got another project going out with that next week. But then we have white and we have clear. I'm going to be using both of these today, one for the greeting and one now. So while this is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle the clear embossing powder over here. Um, what I wanted to point out to you was, if you have these on your table, um, or in a container, keeping them all together like Sandra does, you will find that you will often pick up the wrong one, like I've done, Oops. and they are all white. So I want to just point that out to you, that this is the clear embossing powder and it is white. You have the white embossing powder is white, and then you have the heat and stick, which is white. So just um, be aware of that when you pick up your pots you get the right one. So we've finished with our clear and we're going to use the white in a second. So I have my heat gun here, I'm just going to quickly black this. Okay, so we just look at that and make sure that everything is nice and shiny and there's no powder left. Okay, because it's white and it goes to uh, clear, it's quite easy to see. Now, the next technique I need to do, I need this to dry fully. So I'm just gonna leave that to one side. We're gonna bring back the piece of card that I had here and my Versamark again with the white powder. And for my sentiment, obviously there's no sentiment in this set. Um, for the snow crystal. So I've gone to the Christmas to remember and I've got the Merry Christmas here. Okay, some lovely sentiments in there. Ready mounted on my block just to save a little bit of time. Just want to get a nice good inking on there without jiggling the camera. Okay, and place that on here. Hold my breath so I don't move it. There we go. You won't be able to see that until I place the powder on there. If you could see our tables, when we go live, we start off with everything laid around beside us off camera. And when we finish, we everything is just dumped. It is everywhere. So the messy desk syndrome is definitely after a live. So I've got the white powder here, tapping it down into the center, back in the pot, and quickly put that lid on before we spill any. Now, it's good to find the dust buddy after you've done your stamping and, and embossing. This is a really good tool. I should have wiped this over here just for any little pieces of static that might stick the powder where we don't want it. But hey, I think this has done a pretty good job. I'm just gonna heat this one. all the embossing so 
love embossing Elizabeth hi um, so this one here we are going to fussy cut but I'm going to do a quick tip and just start you off where did the glasses go yeah but I have got one I did earlier for you so I'm just going to quickly for those that haven't seen me fussy cut before the scissors stay still and your fingers here move your paper so I'm going to start off here I hope you can see this I'm just tilting the paper with this hand and just coming around here I'll do part of it and then I'll go back to the one that's already done okay we are good for time we're not we're not going to run late on this one okay so literally I'm pivoting with this thumb here is doing the wiggling can you see that so the scissors are actually still okay so we come all the way down here I'll do one side and then I'll jump to the one that I've already done just to save you time okay so we come along here just wiggling it along wiggling the camera and then we pivot around the corner by turning it with this finger and just start back down the other side so I'm going to cut that off and leave that one for now but you can see it is just practice practice and our Stampin' Up snips are the best with that now I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper here and I'm going to go back to my image here I have my white my craft white um, ink pad and I have the reinker if I need some more but I did use this obviously to make my sample so I should be okay so our blending brushes are absolutely fabulous I make it look easy I know sorry it is just practice I do lots of fussy cutting so um, yeah I am very well practiced this, I put these little tags on here. This was a gift I was given in New Orleans at the um, leadership, um, Stampin' Up! Demo, demo leadership event. Um, very, very nice because you can put one on for each color. Because it's white bristles, I have actually got white ink on here. Can you see how lovely those bristles are? They are just so soft. It looks like a piece of sponge, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do is massage this in here. Okay, I will start off the card. You can't really see it, but what I want is just to get a bit of a smoky feel on here. Okay, so we're gonna um, massage it all round over the clear embossing powder. Just get a little bit husky. Okay, because it's a soft color, obviously, it will take a little bit of working at. So this is where I was worried that the table might, um, might uh, wriggle a little bit. Just getting that on there like so a little bit more at the top here okay as you massage you will be bringing the bristles will then lift off the shiny surface of the clear so I'm gonna put those to one side for a moment take a piece of kitchen paper and I'm gonna just polish very gently and where the shiny surface is it will lift the ink okay so it'll bring that back through and you will have in the background you will have some a little bit of smooch on that it's better on the camera actually than it is for me to see you can see how much white there is showing up around there okay um, I am going to do some splatters on here but I am going to do them at the end there is a reason in my madness because I want things to dry so what we're going to do we'll shut this lid for now on the ink pad and next I'm going to take my layers Okay, and I'm going to stick these together now. So I'm going to attach this one to there and that one to there. So grab my Tombow. You can do most anything, so just do what you love. Live it, share it, you know. And then I think I'm going to put this onto here with some foam pads today. So I've got those beside me. And then you'll, oops, a daisy, they're all sliding. And then you'll see the fact that I've got my greeting ready done and with the pads on there as well, look.
like so. Um, and we've got the white on there. Now I'm going to get this white snowflake. These are the um, wonderful, wonderful snowflakes, okay? There are 24 in a packet. And you can see this, I'm using this one, it's the last one on here. Um, I said these are for another project. There's one colored ready for another project there. Um, it's just held on to this template by the longest edge here. So they just pop out. There we go. And because it's a shiny surface, it's like an iridescent. So it's really, really um, shiny on there. Um, so I'm going to pop this on here. It will match on here perfectly. So you've got the long lengths on each of these. They have done those so well to get them in the right places. So really pretty. So I'm going to put some Tombow in the centre here. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I could bring, if I bring you in closer, you won't see the original part. So I'm just taking this down. I'm just glancing it down there. I'm not really squeezing the glue at all. I'm just gently just touching it. And some will land and some won't. Okay, but it doesn't have to be. We want to avoid having splodges. We don't want little splodges of glue. So it's just glancing. You could use the, um, the sponge like I normally do. Um, on there but I'm quite um, okay with that because I just want little tiny bits I don't want all of it to be attached so I'm going to line it up top and bottom as my anchor and then these will all come out on the long prongs and there we go that's fine so there's our finished piece okay so it's all attached lovely and then we will put the sentiment through the middle so like I say I finished cutting this out and I've just put some little pieces of um, foam pad on the back and I put, put this through the middle. I tend to find the CH on this one is quite good for the middle. So I'm going to tap that one in there and just have that running out each side. There we go. So I think that we are at the splatting stage. <laughs> so this is where we prepare the background. We get the original card out of the way and we know we're going to splatter. So how I do this, I take my Whisper White ink pad again and I, you can see that there's some in the lid here um, from previous. Now I'm going to put another dot of white in there, just a couple of little bits there and I'm going to re -ink it. You can do this with any colours as well and I have a water spray. This is just an empty bottle with a little water spray on it and I'm just going to spritz that. The amount of spritz that you do will determine how strong your splatters will be, whether they are white or whether they're going sort of very cloudy. So I'm just going to waken all of that up again, the ink that was already there, plus the new that I've just added. And then I've got a, a, one of the aqua painters just soaked in um, the water. And I usually use my, I finished with that today, I usually use the side of my Tombow. I used to use my finger to tap it onto, but hey, boy, does that hurt your fingers? after you've done it a little while. I'm going to bring you in a bit. Oh, that way. Okay, I'm trying to get you in the middle so you can see a little bit better. That's finished with and that. Okay, so hopefully you can see. Yes, knocking on your finger after time, it does really hurt. So you need to clear the area around you. So it will splatter. You cannot control 100% where they go. So we're going to angle this downwards so you're pointing at your card. Don't get too close because you'll stroke the card and then you'll get a splodge. So I'm just tapping this on here. And hopefully you'll start to see those land. Okay, the reason I've left it to last is the fact that it is, um, it needs to dry. Okay, so my ink pad now can close and that can be woken up again another time. It will dry, but you can use it. So you don't need to clean the inside of your ink pads. I'll bring that on, there we go. Now all that's left is the um, champagne, champagne um, gems. I thought because of the browns that these ones would go really nicely with it. So I'm just going to have the little ones up here. I've just got enough left. I have got a new packet, so all is not lost. I will have some more to use again. Okay, just adding on three, the rules of threes or fives. There's enough detail on there, so just slide those in. And there is my finished card. And thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again here soon. Okay, thanks for joining us. Bye for now. Yes.